Hey guys, it's Mel. Um, I wanted to come to you with another video. I forgot to show this, and thank you to all who gave me the tips about this. I did happen to know this, but I forgot to show this in my t easy title video. So I just want to show this other little tip to, um, quick tip to learn. But as I was doing it, there is um, another question I came up with. I got this Allie Edwards official font um, free from the internet. I just Googled it, and then I found it, and I downloaded it. So it's kind of tricky because you see, you know, how it's almost like handwriting. So I was I was welding it, and I also did the tip that a lot of you mentioned. Instead of just hitting weld, sometimes they don't go close enough together. I clicked each one and did the arrow and then selected the whole thing and then hit weld. But in order to do that, I had to do the release compound path. And when I did that, it took these inner parts out. But it did what I wanted it to do um, because at first it wasn't welding this E correctly to the P because it was still when I would look at my new thing I learned to, to view it, the cut lines with these scissors up here. Um, it was still showing that the back part of the E was still going to cut out because it showed it in red. But now it did go the way I wanted it to, but I'm thinking when I did the um, release compound path it takes away the inner parts. So if anybody knows how to get them back, let me know. That wasn't going to initially be part of this video, but this is how it goes. So if anybody knows that, let me know what I did wrong if, if I have to do release compound path. But I thought I did that and it didn't work either. But just let me know if you know that. So let's select this whole thing. Whoops. Okay, so we have this selected. What I wanted to show you was when I did the... Let me find it. Okay. When I initially did the offset, and you see how it does that, and it looks good on here, and then when you sometimes when you cut it out, it's too chunky of a shadow. And this simple little thing you can do here is just move this, see this little thing right here on the side that says offset distance? Um, it looks confusing again, like I don't know why they didn't put shadow size and shadow, but um, so see, if you even want it larger, you could make it larger, but if you want to make it smaller, like a real thin one, you just move this until you think you like it. And then if you want to do like a teeny little shadow that just kind of accents it because sometimes that looks really good you just move this over and then that that judges the distance the size of your shadow so that was just one quick thing so after you hit offset you can go here and just move this around till you like it visually or unless um, say you just love shadows in this just little skinny distance you can remember 0 .070 and just type it in there every time yourself so that's another thing too. You just type it in this box or you can move this little toggle thing and judge your size that way. So just another quick tip and if anybody knows how to get these little centers back in and what I did, let me know and I'll post a video on that. So um, thank you guys for your feedback that you're enjoying these videos um, because I was wondering if anybody was, um, you know, People who don't have silhouettes maybe they're like, oh, another silhouette video. But um, it's been helping a lot of people. So like I said, um, if if these videos bother you, just go ahead and just click over them because I'll have other videos on here. But I'm going to continue to do these uh, for anybody who's interested. So thank you for watching, guys, and I hope this answers some questions. Bye.